Hello there everyone, the Jedi Brick here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a custom version of Asaz Ventress from the Bad Batch Season 3 from the newest episode that just came out today. I'm going to run you through all the parts and pieces that I used to create this minifigure, so let's get right into it. So I'm just going to start off by saying this was a very difficult custom to put together. I had no idea what I was going to do for the torso in the hair piece just because I didn't think I had anything that looked too well in my collection that really represented what we saw from the episode. Um, she had this kind of like tunic thing with dark blue and like gray and sand blue on there as well and like belt printing and stuff like she looked like a bounty hunter and it was really hard to figure out what I was going to use for that torso. I came up with two options that I'll show you guys, but starting with the legs, I just use some plain dark blue legs. You can get those pretty much anywhere. Not a very hard piece to come by, but for the torso, what I did is I used the torso from the original Nick Fury. So if I take that off, it's the back print. Uh, so this would be the front of the torso. Just flip the arms around to have the back print. Uh, on the front. So this is from the original Nick Fury. Uh, it came in like his flying car set, the green one. Um, so that's where I got this torso from. And I think it looks pretty good for what it's supposed to be. It had that belt print and like one of the uh, backpack um, things on the uh, side. And I gave her some gray hands on there as well. And, of course, the yellow lightsaber, which is just a yellow lightsaber blade, and one of the curved hilts that I use for Ahsoka. So that's one option for the torso for Ventress. The other one that I came up with was, if I just take that off, is the Doctor Strange torso flipped around. I also dropped my light. Um, so this is the Doctor Strange torso just flipped around as well. You can see the front right there. So that one also looks all right. It also has that belt print on there, which was really one of the things I was trying to get on to this minifigure. So that's the other one I wanted to go with, but you can go with either one, or if you have something better, let me know. And on the back, to kind of help cover up that print, I gave her a brown backpack like she had in the episode as well. She has a backpack um, and some like other equipment and stuff on her back. So I thought that looked pretty nice. For the head, I used the Clone Wars head for Ventress. They did make a better version uh, back in 2013 or 2012, I believe. It was based off the twenty or the 2003 Clone Wars set. Um, a lot better quality, like face printing everything. It didn't have the weird Clone Wars proportions or anything. So if you have that, I would recommend using that face. But this is the only one I have. As for the hair, this was probably harder than the torso, at least for my collection. I don't have a ton of white hair pieces, so I really was not sure what to use. And in the show, she has like a half-shaved, um, like half-long hair kind of haircut, and I had no idea what to use. But this one I saw, and I thought it represented her best. Um, this is from Pietro Maximoff. And it also came in the Everyone is Awesome set. So it's only come in those two uh, places, I believe. Um, so that's what I use here. And I think the, you know, kind of sweep at the top represents what it's supposed to be uh, the best. I was also going to use the Mohawk piece from Storm for the CMF. But that just seemed a little, you know, too out of place. Like it's a Mohawk. It's not really like her, you know, half shaved head. So I didn't think that would work too well, but that's it for the custom Asaz Ventress. I'm not overall super happy with the way this came out. It's mostly the face. I don't like the Clone Wars faces at all. Like I, <laughs> They look so ugly. This is one of the uglier Clone Wars, um, you know, minifigures, along with that Chancellor Palpatine. Like, that one's just awful. Um, so if you have a better version of, like, Asajj Ventress or a Night Sister, 100% use that one. Almost anything is better than these, like, weird-faced Clone Wars ones, but it's all I had on hand. But that is going to do it for this, uh, custom. I really enjoyed 
this episode as well. I've been enjoying Bad Batch Season 3. I think it's my favorite season out of all three, and I can't wait to see what happens next. But if you guys want to see me do any more customs from the Bad Batch, or just anything else Star Wars in general, leave it in the comments section down below. I love making customs for you guys, and I've kind of been running out of ideas, so I haven't really been doing a lot of these recently. Um, so if you guys want to see something specific, just let me know, and I will gladly do it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel, uh, turning on notifications, and liking this video. Uh, it means a lot to me, and join our Discord if you haven't yet, and also follow me on Instagram. But with all that said, have a great day. Peace out. Bye.